yay, Somerville Museum! Yay! yay! So this block party is to commemorate the kind of last phase of our capital campaign in which we're trying to raise 2.25 million, and we've already raised over 2 million. So this is kind of amazing for a little organization that started off as a historical society. So thank you all so very much. Um, I want to thank some people, uh, and uh, there's quite a long list, but just a few people that really need to be acknowledged. Allison Drasner, who Yay. is our assistant director, Yay. yeah, she has been working tirelessly on this. Lady Sens, who is our art and culture assistant. Jir Yang, who is our intern. Carolyn O'Brien, who is, was uh, loaned to us as a development person and came up with the idea with Allison and the staff. So uh, we have lots of others. There's Eileen Schofield and Charlotte, her daughter, who are here, and they put together the baskets for the raffle. Tatiana Shannon, who's inside, waiting for you all to come in and get a glass of wine. Cynthia Frawley, who's over there for the museum. Uh, I hope you see the show. Ron Newman, who is right here. Uh, Ada Santos, who is an uh, educator par excellence, who works with us. Jackie Goggin, Kathleen uh, Seip, Maida Teachin, Jared, Karen Malloy, and and we just want to also acknowledge the people who came uh, with food trucks and all, uh, Christine's Cotton Candy, Machu Picchu, Winter Hill Brewing, among them, and of course uh, the band, Jan Marie and the Mean Reds. Okay. All right, so thank you and just have a great time. Bye. It's Somerville, y'all, so we got to play some original music, of course. Singer Songwriter City. This one is called Yours Alone.
I've been a trustee for the museum since the 1980s. Uh, had so many good, good events at the museum, and and not, not only that, but it's the gem of the city. So much history here, and the trouble, the problem is that most people don't understand or know where the museum is, and those who do know where it is have not visited yet, and they don't realize that it that this is just great especially for the children. The children understand Mary had a little lamb, but they never knew that Mary Tyler was a part of the city. They, they, they've been on telephones all their life, but never knew the first time was solving some of them. There's so many things that they should know about. And this is the building that's going to store all that. So I just hope that once we, we, we open and we have exhibits, I want people to come. I want them to join and become members, members of the Somerville Museum. And I also want them to donate so we can have this accessible for all. for the block party that's celebrating all kinds of things, but particularly the Somerville Museum, um, which is now um, almost going to be open fully with accessibility for everyone. We're very excited about it. We've got a beautiful day for this, so we have a block party with all kinds of old-time stuff. We've got hot dogs and cotton candy um, and lots of things that are Tower Root Beer. There used to be a company here. So hope everybody will come down um, and watch this video if you already missed it. <laughs> Thanks so much. One cold winter morning, it was seven below. I made up my mind, my friends, this cold's got to go. So I subleased went south by east and freezing seas down St. Thomas Way. The people were friendly and they gave me a key. Attached was a tourist guide as cute as can be. We scaled the heights and saw the sights and oh what nights down St. Thomas Way.
know how it feels to have some sand in my shoes To find an escape from all those civilized blues No breaking backs, no cul-de-sacs It's just relax down St. Thomas Way I'm trading the city for a tropical tree And if you meet anyone who's looking for me Tell all and each that they can reach me On the beach down St. Thomas 